Let me uh, introduce myself, just as Ricardo did. My name is Eva Ivanchi Schubert, and I'm an academic affairs counselor here. And as you can see on the screen, I can also uh, book an appointment with me and come by my office. If you need to contact me, then you can see my email up here on the screen. And uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my background. So uh, I have a master's degree in psychology of language, and I also have a bachelor's degree in psychology and philosophy. Apart from that, I am a certified life and business coach, and I have been working with young people and students for a lot of years, working as a counselor and a volunteer, and also as a workshop facilitator, focused mostly on well-being amongst students. So this is a bit about my background and about me. I'm half Danish, half American, and I've been living here in Copenhagen my whole life, in, apart from one semester abroad in the U.S. So uh, now all of you know a little bit about me, and uh, I'm really excited to get to know all of you, and a uh, warm welcome to all of you. Okay, so I'm from the UK and I have just been presented with a talk where I did a BA in English Literature and I'm studying language analysis and French history. And from there I worked in the library for about six years but also supported students individually or in groups as a workshop. And then from there I moved to Denmark in 2020. That would be an interesting choice given that you're back. Um, and then I did a master's in information science at KU. So that was my library studies, but then part of my research science, part of the humanities. And then from there I got the job here. So I'm also a bit new, so I'm still teaching it. And I hope you feel like it. all the time. You might be wearing this every day on campus. Good. Um, so as uh, you can see, we have actually quite different backgrounds. So the, the, the type of uh, faculty and staff that you're going to be finding on campus, it resembles pretty much the student population. We have different backgrounds. We understand very well what you're going through. We've been studying many of us abroad. So. It's not that many years ago, you know, that you've been, we've been actually through what you are going to go through for the next few years. Good. What is a student counselor? You might have an idea. I'm not going to be helping you with the next slide. What is a counselor? What is what an academic counselor does? Any there? A brave one. Yeah? Somebody talk here. You like these people really brave? What is what you said? Counseling on academic staff, that was easy, eh? Counseling on academic staff. Any more tips? What do you think that we can do for you? Nothing else? Look okay, that we can pack and go now. Hmm? That would be actually quite, uh, quite easy. Hmm? But basically, uh, there are a lot of, uh, remember to switch off your phones, okay? Hmm? That was what we said at the very beginning. Good. We've been trying to put a list here of the areas that we think we can help you with. Many students actually, when they begin university, they feel actually like a super energetic, uh, they have a lot of passion, but another thing is that when you receive all the module information, and then you have to organize yourself. And being new here, I guess that for many of you, coming from mama's and papa's house, okay, where everything actually was done for you, uh, cooking, uh, cleaning your room, buying the groceries, absolutely everything. But now you have to take care of all those things, okay? Yeah, so you have to become a um, university student, a chef, um, 
a professional buyer because you have to save money, so you need to go and buy groceries and all those things, okay? You have to attend classes, workshops, organize your group assignments, you know? So there are like way too many things, okay? But that can be quite overwhelming. So we can actually help you to organize your course of study in a different way. We can actually help you quite a lot with organizing this in your time. And that's something that is one of the things that we observe as being one of the most challenging aspects when you begin university at level four. Because you have to get used to many things, a lot of information, everything is new, okay? Good. Questions regarding academic rules and regulations? Obviously, we know all the rules and regulations. Hmm? So for example, what happens if I don't pass this particular submission at the first attempt? How many times can I receive it again, okay? Uh, how many credits do I need actually to pass? in order to proceed to level five. Can I actually proceed if I fail one assignment or two or a module? So that type of information we can actually help you with. You have questions, if you have concerns about that. Good. Um, difficulties with homework, submission, this is actually linked to time management. Mm -hmm. You might be having difficulties because you don't know how to organize your time well, or you haven't been understanding maybe the topic in depth or you need, find that you need help in order to find references. So it's not that we are gonna be helping you specifically with every single thing, but we know what is it that we need to send you to, okay? So it's quite important that you reach out to the counselors if you have problems. Hmm? Good. Preparation for classes. That's actually one of the keys here, and that would be my advice number one. If you want to get anything out of this program, what you have to do is to prepare for classes. Don't just check your schedule and go to your, let's say, microeconomics class tomorrow. I'm prepared thinking that the tutor is gonna be coming with all the secrets of microeconomics for me, and I'm gonna be learning that without touching a finger myself. And then I just look at the slides, I memorize content, I go to the exam and I pass. That's not gonna happen, okay? So basically you have to prepare for classes, mm -hmm. You have to prepare questions, then you go and attend the class. You try to resolve your questions. You keep adding you know, notes to the notes that you already took. You go home, you review the notes, you summarize, and you say, well, this unit is actually ready to go. Otherwise, you need to go back to your tutor and say, some of the areas that you covered last week, they are still unclear. I have more questions. And if you keep that kind of like, you know, system, it's quite probable that you're gonna be passing all your assignments. Because then you're not gonna be stressed. You're preparing on a daily basis. 